It's great to address this distinguished audience today. As you know, 2016 has been a big year for the Alliance. Independence now gives you a strong mandate to promote the regulations and policies that will make economies more inclusive and more just. Economies that include everyone benefit everyone, especially women. Women in many of the developing countries I visit tell me how much having control over their assets and earnings changes their lives. And it not only empowers them to lift themselves out of poverty, the benefits extend to their families, their communities, and their countries. I've seen it for myself. It's transformative. That's why I'm passionate about reducing the gender gap in financial services. So I'm pleased the Alliance is taking concrete steps to address the fact that too many women in too many countries have a much harder time getting a bank account. I also applaud the Alliance members who are beginning to look at their financial data by gender. This is an important way to understand where and why women are left behind and how to change that. Your insights and leadership are essential if we're going to keep financial inclusion top of the agenda. Increasingly, that requires you to embrace a wider range of partners because collaboration and dialogue are critical to achieve the bold goals we've set. There's a lot of work ahead, but the rewards are great for all of us, and I'm confident that the organizations assembled here are up to the challenge. By continuing to share your knowledge and experiences, AFI will remain a unique force in the global movement for financial inclusion. Thank you, and keep up the good work.